Hi, uh, God gave me uh, a scripture and he gave me three different ones and I will post all of them. So he gave me three different scriptures and the same and the, each scripture says the same thing. <sighs> Bless is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law. I'm reading from King James Version. It is written, blesses the man that God, you know, teaches and chastises. Um, what I feel, I feel big chastisement is coming for people, for the church, for the body of Christ and for the world. Because uh, at the same time, God gave me a uh, scripture, 316, John 316, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. God loves the world. And there are a lot of things that will come, a lot of things that will happen. And it is not just, it's not to destroy. A lot of uh, false prophets, they release words of destruction and says God is so angry, he's going to destroy everything. And that's not true. Indeed, God is angry with the world and with the sins of the world. Yes. But the same God loves the world and the same God gave his only son. So correction is coming. Chastisement is coming. Okay. There will be punishment for the wicked. Surely. But a lot of Christians will be chastised. You know, th there will be a righteous judgment of God upon everybody. I said before, the church will be chastised the church will be judged okay and the wicked as well but it is not just you know god is angry and he's an angry god and he's gonna kill everyone like some people say there are some prophets who say that like some nations are doomed you know that is not true god gave me three different scriptures where he says that I am chastising those whom I love. I love the world. I hate sin, but I love the world. I love people. I love souls. And God wants people to repent. That's why all these things will come. Because God wants people to repent. All these events that are coming. He loves the world. He wants people to repent. He doesn't want the souls to perish. And sometimes... This is how it works. If you read Old Testament, the God was chastising Israel all the time. Bad things were happening to them because they were turning away from God. And guess what? After those things, they were coming back to God with repentance. And that's what God wants to do. He wants people to repent. And it is written, blessed are those that, that God, you know, chastised. So sometimes, in, in, in the other word, yes, he, he's reminding me, it is written, despise not the discipline of God. Des despise not the chastisement of God. Just do not despise the discipline of God. Because if he considers you his child, he will discipline you. And it's not just, as I said, it's not only for the world, like for the world, meaning those who are in the world. This is for Christians as well. This is for some people who love God, those even who live in righteousness and holiness. But there's a lot of things that need to be corrected, right? And God says, when I am teaching you, chastising you, do not despise it, but consider yourself blessed. It means that God cares about you. The same way uh, me as a child, you know, there were times I was naughty and I was doing things that my parents didn't want me to do. There was once I was playing with a socket in the house and I almost got electrocuted when I was baby. Guess what my mom did to me? She punished me. She chastised me. I, need, I needed to learn that I can't do this again. God is the father. He's a good God. And he's chastising people because he loves. He does not tolerate sin. 
he wants people to repent. So please, those prophets who are telling you that things will be destroyed and we're doomed, we all, uh, first of all, we all know that in the end times, a lot of bad things will happen. We also need to remember that always when God is releasing his judgment, you know, the enemy will always come as well to bring his evil wickedness, you know. We live in end times and it is all prophesied, but guess what? God wants to save people. It is written in the Bible. He does not want anyone to perish. That is his will. He doesn't want anyone to perish, but he wants everyone to come to repentance. So, you know, like this message is not, it's, it's like it has, you know, this is for someone who's going through discipline of God. It means God loves you. I went through discipline of God because he loved me. And the same with the world. The world is, gone, is going through discipline of God. It will go. Because God wants everyone to repent. God bless you.